Here's today's In Touch Devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 13 of Luke chapter 12. Now someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, You there, who appointed me a judge or arbitrator over the two of you? But he said to them, Beware and be on your guard against every form of greed, for not even when one is affluent does his life consist of his possessions. And he told them a parable, saying, The land of a rich man was very productive. And he began thinking to himself, saying, What shall I do, since I have no place to store my crops? And he said, This is what I will do. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones, and I will store all my grain and my goods there. And I will say to myself, You have many goods stored up for many years to come. Relax, eat, drink, and enjoy yourself. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your soul is demanded of you. And as for all that you have prepared, who will own it now? Such is the one who stores up treasure for himself and is not rich in relation to God. Jesus' parable about the foolish wealthy man is a study of misplaced priorities. The man neglected God and spent his life greedily accumulating treasure for himself on earth. Then he died with no opportunity to enjoy his goods. But worse than that, he died with a bankrupt soul. Serving the Lord is the key to setting goals that will eternally benefit those of us who are believers. The question we ought to ask is not, what shall I do? But rather, what does God want me to do? The answer, which should be prayerfully sought and biblically evaluated, dictates which things we must put first to please the Lord. Life isn't something that simply happens to us. Where we are today is largely determined by the priorities we set previously. This means we can also begin the process of reevaluating them according to biblical guidelines and changing those that are misplaced. What do you prioritize in life? There's nothing wrong with having earthly plans and goals, but we should also store up treasure in heaven, which can never be lost. Our top priority should be to live a life that honors the Lord. 